In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, AGT uh, air gun technology Vulcan 3. Now, I have done a video on this, not this exact gun, but the 30 cal version uh, about three years ago. Today, we're going to be looking at the 22 cal version, which is a little different in that it uses a different barrel, meaning a polygon barrel versus a traditionally rifled barrel. Yes, this is an alpha precision barrel, but instead of like the 22 and uh, like the 25 and 30 cal, being traditional rifle land and groove barrels, this one is polygonal. Now, in my experience, I have not had great success shooting slugs in polygonal barrels, but it can work well. In this gun, it did work well. Now, we slugged this gun and we came up with a groove diameter of 221. Now, if you check out the Alpha Precision site, which here I'll put right here, it shows that it has a groove diameter of, what was it, 4.61 4 millimeters, which in uh, empirical terms is uh, 2 to 1. Okay, great. So I took this gun out about three years ago, and yes, this has been sitting on the shelf for about three years. Uh, I shot it a little bit, and I went out with some 2 to 1 slugs, ABS slugs, and I shot my first group not knowing what to expect. At 100 yards, just went right out, zeroed at a 25, then made my adjustments for 100 yards, and sure enough, it was a pretty good group. It was an MOA group at 100 yards, five shot group. Okay, didn't think anything of it, put the gun away, I was reviewing another gun. And then I pulled this gun out probably a few months later to do a review on it, after I had done the 30 cal and the 25 uh, information I had gotten. And I just never got to it. So what I'm going to bring to you today is just some information, short video on the 22 polygonal alpha precision barrel in the Vulcan 3 and what it likes to shoot. So 2213 would be the proper slug, but the problem is the lead-in is very hard and it makes it, and it's not, it's hard because, you know, when you go from your lead-in, which is bored out and then it ramps up to the lands and grooves, the angle matters. In these particular guns, the angle is like 45 degrees. So you can imagine trying to shove a 221 slug into a 221 groove diameter, meaning the, the biggest part, the, the, the deeper part of the rifling, it's going to hit up against the lands and cut. And that's exactly the problem. And it makes it very difficult to load this. You almost have to put a lot of force behind it. it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Plus it deforms the slug a little bit. So I tried, and even though it's shot well, and I know that 2213 would be the ideal slug for this, I went back and I said, let me try the 2193. And of course, those were a little easier to load, being a smaller diameter. They're not fully sealing uh, the groove. So what I'm going to do today is just show you some of the groups I shot with this particular gun at 77 yards, at 100 yards. And you'll see there's mixed results, but for the most part, it can be accurate. It's just, it's not, I didn't find it to be super consistent. So what I want to do is just show you a few uh, boards that I shot. We're going to put this over here. Move over. Here's two of the boards uh, from actual shooting that day. Uh, I'm going to hold it back here so I can actually, let me put on some glasses here. Uh, these three here were shot at 77 yards. And these two, I'll show you the groups. The first one is a uh, little bit over MOA, 0.8. Uh, two roughly. This next one was a 0.86, a little larger, still just over MOA. And this last one was a 0.415. So that's a little more than half MOA at 77 yards, which was pretty good. Now those were the first three groups I shot, as you're going to see in the video. Uh, I'll actually show that. Then I took the board out to 100 yards. And starting at the bottom, because I believe I started from the bottom here, my first group was a 0.94 at 100 yards. It was a sub MOA group. Not spectacular, but pretty good. The next one over was a 1.1, just over MOA. A little bit messy. Uh, these two were just flyer. I think they were from something else. But anyway, this was messy. Um, you know, it's nothing to talk about. Next group here was a just over MOA, 1.06, where 1.043 is... MOA. This was just over. Respectable. It's okay. But then this got messy. We got a one point something. Just too large. Not, not good. And another one here where you have four 
touching, and one, I think one or two got away from me. So, again, another group, not so, here, three in one hole, one gets away. So, I don't know if it was me, if it's the polygonal, I'm not really sure. Up here at 100 yards, that's a sub MOA. There's another 103. 1.03, <laughs> so inches that is. And then up here, a mess, kind of a mess. Uh, you have, uh, this is a six shot group, but it's under, it's just under MOA right here, but with that flyer, it doesn't really do much. But you can see that this particular board and these particular groups I just showed, it's mixed. Uh, it can be accurate. Remember, we're shooting slugs. These are the 219334. So I decided to do another board. I think this was the same day. This is three years ago. Um, again, this is a 1.03, just under MOA, not bad. And another one, MOA, 1.47, just MOA, okay? This one is a 1.3, a little bit over MOA. Uh, I, I, just, just, I think these were ciders. This is when I was citing in. Here's a 1.2, it's over MOA. And these are just not worth talking about. So you can see that the groupings, when you're shooting, the accuracy and the precision, it's kind of mixed. It could be good. So the 2193 ABS slugs are fairly, shoot fairly well and load easier than the 2213. Now, if you want to shoot really accurate and you're okay with a little bit of pressure, the 2213 is the way to go. But again, I wanted to show what most people were kind of concerned about. Oh, it's really difficult. And that is part of the issue with the polygonal barrels uh, or air gun barrels in general. These are air guns. They need to have a nice, smooth lead in, a nice, gradual lead in, not a sharp 45. Because when you have that sharp 45, you cut into the slug or even the pellet for that matter. And again, pellets' heads are usually small and the skirts are large. Uh, again, they're that shuttlecock design. They're more forgiving for these lead-ins, but slugs are not. So anyway, in conclusion, I just want you to know that the 2193 is probably the slug of choice for uh, the Vulcan 3. So that being said, let's go to the range and take a look. That's exactly where I want to be. That really does have a hot sound. That Sounds great. great. That's definitely under an inch at 77. 32, 193, 34, flat. All right, let's try. Yeah, that's five shots there. Stranger? Scott! Hey. hey! how are you? Good. How are you doing? Oh, shit. I think a hell of a lot more like I'm three gonna, quarters. I'm going to pull it out to 100. <laughs> if 77 is not enough, we'll go to 100. That looks like it's about, what, three quarters? All right, we're going Maybe out to 100. Then. Screw it. I don't know. I can't really see that green. Well, I'm going to tell you. That's point. That's point six inches. What? Oh, I'll be the judge of whatever that is. Oh, are you? Can I go run down there and pull it to 100? Yeah, I ain't doing anything. All right. I'll go walk out there. Oh, I got it. Seven, yep. Oh, my goodness. Let's back this off. Okay. Wow, five shots at 77 yards. Uh, that's point five, point six. Five here and five here. All right, we're gonna go out to 100. Whoops, let's be over here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe even a little beyond. Good. 
tighten everything down. Still recording. 100 yards with the Vulcan 22 using 34 grain flat base 2193. Still recording good. Let's see. All right. Interesting. These were, okay. So here's a group at 100. This is under an inch. This is nice. just over an inch. This is messy. This is messy. Again, you know, you got these. This, this is well, one. Some of those are pretty nice, and a lot of them show promise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is under an inch. This is about yeah, an inch. Pretty, pretty darn respectable. Very respectable. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 100 yards. Whoops. Okay. Still recording. Still recording. Good battery. Let's do it again. Thank <laughs> you. 